All right, let's get to the scene of the victory in Canton with our Emma Henderson. Emma, you've been down there all night. Did the stadium go wild when they clinched the title? So actually, it's so quiet here right now compared to how it was when they actually won about a half hour ago. The entire team was out here on the field getting to hold that state championship trophy for the first time. The first team in Cleveland Metropolitan School District history. So they have to be feeling on top of the world right now. And you know who else has to be? The fans. Take a listen to how many showed up today. It's hard to overestimate how many fans turned up to root for Glenville. Glenville knows how to travel and we had four fan buses come down along with all the cars and uh, we, we're all here to see a win. We're really excited about it. Plus everyone who made the drive. It's going to be stupendous. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It's going to be great. Family, friends, alumni. And Cleveland City Council President and Mayor are here and confident what a victory means for the city and the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. After today's victory, the Council President and I got to figure out how we can organize a citywide parade. Absolutely. Uh, just like we celebrated the Cavs championship in 2016. To them, this championship game represents more than just a Saturday night. It represents an entire season or even longer full of hard work. These kids, they represent Cleveland well, not just on the field, but off of the field. They represent the brightest and best of what Cleveland has to offer, and we're just so proud of them, and we know we just want them to make history tonight. We want the entire city to pull for these kids. Plus a 14-0 season, exciting fans who turned out game after game, something they'll keep doing right up to season's end. <laughs> Now that promise for a parade, it actually came before the game even started. So, uh, you know, I think we have a parade coming up that we may have to cover soon, Alan Stephanie. <laughs> I think so. He's going to have to make good on that promise. I think so. He absolutely <laughs> better. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Now, you know, it is incredible to see the Cleveland community make the drive down to Canton to support Glenville. And Emma, you spoke with fans tonight. What did you learn about this monumental season and what it means to the team and the fans? I don't think you can overstate what this means to the fans. They, this, I mean, it's the first, right? So they are setting a standard now for Cleveland Metropolitan School District. They know they can win a state championship. And this is coming from the beginning of the season when they were worried about getting enough football helmets to actually be able to play. So to go from that to wow. this field and winning in the way they did 26 to six. I mean, it's again, hard to overstate how exciting this moment truly is. Absolutely incredible for those guys. It certainly is. Good luck. Thank you very much. Not Emma. good luck, but good for them. They did a great job. Today. That's right. Absolutely. Good luck for next season. Right. In, indeed. Keep it going. <laughs> Let's run it back. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Emma. Thank you very much, Al. Al, we'll be checking with you again later. Sounds